Good day everybody, today's a pretty exciting day because today is a day we're gonna check out this new jump starter that is different from any other that I have. Some of you guys guessed it, but here it is. This is the batteryless jump starter. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you an introduction to the capacitor jump starter, and then the next video, we're actually gonna do some physical testing. I have done quite a bit of testing with this thing. There's a lot of pros and cons. So it's really gonna come down to it. I'm gonna give my final thoughts in the last video, not this one, whether or not something like this is worth it, because they are very expensive. So the one that I picked up is the C3. It's rated for 300 amps. That has yet to be tested. The recharge from batteries actually quite quick, six minutes. Recharge from 12 volt socket, four minutes. Recharge from USB is 20 minutes. Those numbers are pretty much dead on considering six minutes to charge up, probably less than five seconds to discharge while cranking a vehicle. You're gonna see that in an upcoming video. Like I said earlier in the video, these are only designed to start once, about five seconds of high current. So let's just plug this in to this ATV battery that I got. And you can see right now the ATV battery says it's 12 volts. If we press the power button, now it's starting to flash. So that means it's in charge mode right now. And we're already at 13 volts. A few more seconds. We're gonna hit 14. There we go, as soon as she stops, we're charged. I have it hooked up to this 100 watt light, so we're gonna power this on. We're gonna see if we can get a reading. So let's power this on. Now we're gonna have to go in bypass mode. And once it finishes flashing, she's gonna light up. So we're reading 14 volts. You can see it's dropping off fast. 10 amp draw. We're gonna see how long this capacitor jump starter can stay powered up. I think it's on a timer though, but it may just power down. But you can see how fast the capacitor is draining. We're already at 11 volts. Gonna hit 11.5. 100 watt light still going. We're dropping down nine amps. Eight amps, oh, oh. How low will this go? We're at nine amps. And that light's already starting to fade out quite fast. Now we're down to four and a half volts. Almost no light and we kicked out. So how much amps will this draw when it's charging is one of the things that I'm gonna look at. So let's hook these back up. It says it's not supposed to draw much, but we're gonna see. We're at nine volts. Oh yeah, look at that, we're drawing 50 amps, 33, 22. 12, 10 amps, we're already at 12 volts. Drawing three amps, eight amps. Now in the alternator from your vehicle that would put out like 50 amps or more, this would obviously be charged a lot faster, but Less than five minutes, we're gonna be charged. So drawing about eight amps to fully charge it, once it gets going is not too bad. So as long as your automotive battery isn't completely dead, this thing will charge up. Now providing, just the kicker, if your battery is completely dead, you're not getting anywhere. And that's where a battery jump starter would come in handy because it has the power to do it. Now a lot of people claim that 
when you hook up those boost packs that it may draw or may or the dead battery may absorb the power one way to get around that is to remove the positive post from the battery connect the boost pack battery get your vehicle started and very carefully put it on the positive post of the battery there is risks involved with that but it may work you got to be quick though because those battery packs unlike the capacitor one here can't take much of a charge before it goes so boom. Everything being said, this is going to be a preview of a new jump starter that's going to show up in the future because you guys want to see it. This one is by iClever. We're going to get more into that later, but I'm going to show you that I can plug this bad boy in and it's charging. So if you have, which would be kind of pointless, a battery jump starter with the capacitor, you could probably charge this. 50 or more times off this bag. I'm gonna leave that for you guys in the comments to discuss whether or not a capacitor jump starter is worth it or not. They're interesting, but like I said, a lot of pros, a lot of cons. Well, I'm gonna end the video here. In the next video, we're gonna use the load tester to test, see how many cranking amps we can get out of that thing. Not only that, but we're also gonna hook it up to my Ford with a 5.4 liter and see if this capacitor jump starter can crank that thing over stay tuned for that and the final video that's going to be once everything's said and done we're going to take apart that jump starter and see how it's built stay tuned and i'll talk to you guys later